Today's show is about session quality in Google Analytics. It's quite an exciting feature actually, um, has some real good benefits, makes life a lot easier in there. So I'm going to be running through uh, what the requirements are so to make this work on your site. Um, the, uh, the session quality report, how you can access that, how you can analyse that session quality data. Um, and uh, best of all, how you can use that session quality audience, create an audience to use in your remarketing campaigns. As usual, if you have questions, do ask them and uh, we'll try and do our best to answer those for you. And of course, do give us a thumbs up. Uh, we really uh, appreciate those. So what is Google Analytics session quality? So effectively what Google is doing here, or Google Analytics is doing here for you is um, deciding quite literally which sessions, which user sessions are of better quality than others and then giving them a grade uh, a score effectively um, and then uh, you can segment those and analyse your data in Google Analytics. Now uh, the requirements uh, according to Google's online help are that uh, you need to be an e-commerce store for this to work. So this is about how close those uh, sessions, those users in those sessions were to making a transaction. Um, and it says in its help that it requires, of course, that you have Google Analytics e-commerce tracking uh, configured and configured properly lots of sites out there it's not quite configured properly and there's missing data and all sorts of stuff but you need uh, Google Analytics e-commerce tracking implemented and this is the bit that uh, is absolutely not true it says that you need a minimum of 1,000 transactions in the last 30 days um, and that's not true uh, the account I'm going to demo on this on has uh, nowhere near a thousand um, has more like a, a few hundred um, and it's eligible and it's showing so um, so yeah it's a fib so where do we find the session quality report um, so head into your analytics account head to audience in behavior and then if your account is eligible you will find the session quality report here it's going to tell you the headline stuff about sessions, sessions with transactions, sessions without. And then here we're starting to see the session quality. So session quality of one, poor quality. That's a lot of the uh, site visitors here. Um, and then how many of those sessions had transactions. And then session quality two to five, six to 20. And we're seeing we're getting more transactions from this audience. Um, we can break that down further as usual in Google Analytics. We can head into just display or paid search or organic and then we can look at that same session quality report um, in exactly the same way. Um, we can also, if we like, create a session quality segment and then apply that segment and uh, be able to run reports uh, against that. Um, we could also look at source medium um, or specific campaigns if you wanted to to see uh, what that uh, session quality was like. However, the the thing that um, I'm quite excited by with this is actually the opportunity to use these uh, session quality to create an audience, which we can then use for uh, remarketing across display or YouTube or um, or actually with remarketing lists for search. So we can adjust our bids on search or Google Shopping if uh, those users have a session quality of greater than 20, for example. So we, we know that these are better quality, they were closer to a transaction, they almost converted, so we'd certainly want to spend more money on those audiences. So let's take a look at um, how we use this data to create an audience. Head into admin and then audience definitions, audiences, and then create a new audience. Create a new, um, and it doesn't appear in any of these yet, so uh, we need to just choose session quality here and then we can create one uh, which is greater than 20, for example, and then we can apply that. And you can see we could use this for display, 
we could use this for remarketing lists for search and we can use it obviously in Google Analytics as an audience and we can see here that we've got 247 users in the last seven days so we're kind of borderline whether we could use this for remarketing lists for search we might just edge it um, but uh, you know you could certainly use that so let's call that we would then call this um, session quality greater than 20 of course you could create uh, session quality 20 to 40 or whatever and then 40 to 60 and then those higher ones and have separate audiences and then do separate bid adjustments which is fine if the audience is big enough uh, remember that in remarketing lists for search ads you need 1000 active users so you know no point in um, in trying to do that if the audience is too small it just won't work but with display and YouTube campaigns absolutely you could use those smaller audiences so definitely worth creating those uh, creating the audiences export them to your Google Ads account and then add them to your campaigns um, and then uh, you can monitor and observe those um, or you could do some display campaigns and target specifically those users with maybe remarketing uh, and put some specific offers for those users. Um, there are more tips coming up on Google Analytics, so make sure you subscribe right now. If you have any questions on today's show about um, Google Analytics session quality reports and scores, then do ask in the comments and we'll do our best to help.